representation from Great Britain to Canada to the United States, pushed by the cultural left, have this stamp. And the stamp is that traditional ideas are bad and dangerous. And those traditional ideas must be thrown out. And that's how you end up with the CBC, a state-sponsored enterprise, pushing the idea that my content is somehow an extremism factory. But you know what's not extreme in Canada? What's not extreme is the Halton District School Board standing behind an accepted transgender teacher at Oakville Traf Trafalgar High School. Um, apparently, this teacher is a man who has been wearing fake breasts that are the sizes of beach balls with fake plastic hard nipples attached to them to class. So this is a male teacher acting out his sexual fetishes against students. That's what this is. There's another rationale for this because this is nutso behavior. Technically speaking, this is crazy behavior. No normal person would do this. This is not something you would do. This is not something a normal transgender person would do. This is crazy behavior. This is not a man who believes that he is a woman who just decided one day to put on a wig and, and slap on a dress. Nope, this is a man who has decided to act out his actual full-on sexual fetishes in front of children because that is the only reason that you wear fake prosthetic breasts that are the size of watermelons to school with hard nipples at the end of them. And the school district is defending this because after all, gender identity. The teacher now identifies as a woman and is referenced with a female name. The school board says it simply sees her as a good teacher. See, this is, this is not extreme. It's not extreme to foist upon students sexual perverts that's what that is, okay? We're not Again, we're not even talking about a person who just has gender dysphoria. We're talking about a person, the picture shows, who's wearing watermelon-sized breasts in front of high school students with fake nipples attached to them. Okay, that, that apparently is a sexual identity, and that must be protected. That's not extreme in any way. I have had multiple students come out to me, not just with their sexuality, but also with their gender identity. It's one of the reasons I think it's so important to be out and loud and proud so that people feel comfortable coming to me and talking to me because I don't know how much different my life would have been if I had had somebody to come talk to about this kind of stuff. My hope is that every student will have somebody that they can talk to about this. We're just here receiving. We're not prop. This is a propagandist. Is a propagandist who I'm sure propagandizes on behalf of the idea that boys can be girls, girls can be boys, and that the fullest form of self-exploration is alternative forms of sexual identity. I mean, I, I don't feel like it's a big leap from, you know, the dyed eyebrows. He made calculated violations of his order, which had told them to temporarily stop enforcing a law blocking transgender people from changing their gender on their birth certificates unless they had undergone surgery. There had been, um, there had been a law that was passed duly by the state of Montana that said you are not allowed to retcon history and pretend that you were born a male when you were born a female. And this judge overruled the law on the basis of, mm -hmm, on the basis of whatever. District Court Judge Michael Moses said Monday he would promptly consider motions for contempt based on continued violations of his April order, which he clarified in a verbal order at a hearing on Thursday. Just hours after that hearing, the Republican-run state said it would defy the order and keep in place a rule that will disallow any changes to birth certificates unless they were due to a clerical error. On Monday afternoon, the Department of Public Health and Human Services issued a statement saying it would comply with the order despite disagreeing with it. And funny how all of the advocates on the left who are talking about how the Supreme Court is anti-democratic have no problem with the anti-democracy of a single district court judge who has made calculated violations of his order, which had told them to temporarily stop enforcing a law blocking transgender people from changing their gender on their birth certificates.